Yo, what's happening guys? In this video, I'll be going over something I recently stumbled upon, which is a kind of updated way to do your animation retargeting in Unreal Engine 5.2. It takes a little bit of setup, but it's honestly very straightforward. And at the end of this video, you should be able to make and even expand on something like this fight sequence I put together here. Let's get right into it. So first off, what is animation retargeting exactly? Animation retargeting is a practice in which we can attempt to transfer the animations we have that are designated for a particular skeleton to another skeleton that is very similar are identical. Now the first key to this process that is going to make it almost dead simple, at least for me, is finding characters and animations that use the epic skeleton within the Unreal Engine marketplace. Anything listed should have a simple yes or no if you check in the description under uses epic skeleton. Now these creators of characters and animations on the marketplace realize that you're most likely going to need to do some retargeting at some point. So most everything will be optimized for use with the Unreal skeleton. In this example I'm going to retarget these fighting animations I bought from the marketplace to this cyber ninja character that was also bought from the marketplace. So specifically, we want to take the skeleton that is referenced in the animation pack and transfer those animations to the skeleton that is referenced in our cyber ninja. To do this, we first need to tell the engine that, hey, these two skeletons are very similar and they could potentially use the same animations. And then we just have to create a few things that the engine needs to carry out the transfer. If we find the skeleton that has the animations we want to transfer out and open it in the skeleton editor by just double clicking on it in the content browser. We should be able to come up here to window and then scroll down to asset details. At this point, we can just click the only plus sign in sight and add our skeleton that we want to transfer the animations to. This tells the engine that, hey, these skeletons should be treated as similar or identical. Now that Unreal is on the same page as us, we just need to create a few technical things it needs to carry out the actual retargeting. We're gonna right click in our content browser, hover over animation and go down to IK rig. We can name it something like IKR underscore mannequin for our reference. We can then duplicate our IK rig and rename it to something like IKR underscore ninja. Use whatever naming convention best suits you to identify these two and separate them in your mind. After we have both of them created, we can open up one at each time and it will ask us to assign a skeleton to that IK rig. Finally, we can right click animation, go down to the bottom, IK retargeter, and you can name this something like retargeter underscore zero zero and open it up. Once you open it up, it'll ask you to assign the IK rigs for the source and the target. Source is going to be the IK rig that possesses the animations and the target is going to be the IK rig that we want to possess the animation. Once we open it up on the right side, we should be able to assign our preview meshes and our IK rigs just in case something went wrong, but this should be filled out automatically. On the opposite side of the screen, we have the run retargeter button we can press to run the retargeter process. In the bottom right, we'll have our asset browser with a list of the animations. If we double click on these, we should be able to see both meshes doing the same animation. Now I've run into a bug sometimes where the selected animations don't play for the target, only the source, but the transfer still went through. It's just a bug. If you don't see the animations playing in the window, don't panic right off the bat. I would attempt to drag these animations into your sequence or scene and just see if they play. Odds are they will. We can then select all the animations in the asset browser and export them into our content browser. These animations can now be used with our target skeletal mesh, or in my case, my ninja. Now there is a deeper way of doing retargeting, but I'm gonna save that for another video. It involves creating chains that reference different parts of the uh, different skeletons, but we'll save that for a completely different video. Lastly, I'll just do a crash course on using animations in Unreal Engine. We can create a new level sequence by going up here and naming it. We can then drag our skeletal meshes from our content browser into our scene while holding control, and that will automatically add them to the sequencer. From there, we can go into the sequencer and hit the plus animation button and add whatever animations we want to the scene. You should see a list of all the possible animations for this skeletal mesh in this button. From this point, you can sequence these animations just like you would clips in a non-linear editor. The best part is you can even blend between them by overlapping the animations. If you zoom in, you can even mess with the curves to alter the rate at which they blend together. A crucial last step is going to be always right clicking on every animation and match it to a specific bone, which in my case is usually pelvis, but whatever works for you. And you may need to click this multiple times. For instance, if you edit something, like you may have it right, but then you edit something a few frames back, never hesitate to click this multiple times, even turn off matching and then re-click it. All right, that about wraps it up, guys. I just wanted to share this. I found it out the other day and I thought it was, it's just way simple now if you get the stuff from the marketplace. I hope this helps somebody and I'll catch you on the next video.